Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lois and here on my channel we talk about all things related to baby gear, family products, mom life in general, homeschooling, and the beginning stages of our homestead journey. So if any of those topics sound fun or interesting to you, please remember to hit the subscribe button. All right, so on today's video, we are going to be talking about the Petunia Pickle Bottom Pivot Pack. This stylish, very versatile bag has eight pockets, some amazing features, and I'm so excited to review it with you guys. So in this video, we're going to do an overview and a quick pack with me style video. I will leave time codes in the description below, so please feel free to skip ahead to whatever interests you. I will also leave shopping links and discount codes in the description area below. All right, let's go. Before we dig into the bag itself, let's take a quick overview of what is going on on the exterior of the bag. The bag comes with this gorgeous and stylish rose gold hardware, including the Petunia Pickle Bottom nameplate at the top. It has complementing brown leather zipper pulls. This front compartment is an insulated and lined zippered compartment. There are three of them on the bag. This bottom compartment is the full width of the bag. It is also insulated and lined. There is a hidden bottle pocket, also insulated and lined. The back has these nylon straps that resemble seat belt material. At their shortest settings, you can carry this as a tote. At the longest settings, you can carry this crossbody or messenger style. And at the medium setting, which is what I have it right now, it is a very comfortable backpack. There is a very generously sized tech pocket that is lined. This pocket goes to about the half the width of the bag itself. There is an expanding bottle pocket on this side. It is not lined or insulated, but it is spacious. All right, on the one side, you have this very discreetly placed bottle pocket. And to give you an idea of what fits in there, this is my son's thermos container. And this does fit in there with no problem. The other item that I've carried in there is a large baby bottle. This is a flipsy bottle. This is about the same size as a large Dr. Brown's or a Como Tomo or a Tommy Tippy. And again, no problem fitting that in there. Now probably my favorite item to carry in there is our sun bum sunblock. And I like to put this in here so it's easy for me to reach and in case I don't have the lid locked, if it does spray, it doesn't get all over our stuff. And as you can see, it goes in there beautifully. There is about an inch to spare at the top. Moving around to the other side, this is the expanding bottle pocket. This is not lined or insulated, but in there, again, I can fit my son's thermos container. I can also put my daughter's baby bottle. And I can also put my large swell on the go coffee cup in there as well. No problems with that fitting. Let's look inside the bag itself. This top zipper is a very large zipper which gives you full access to the main interior compartment of the bag. So first up you have this padded section back here suitable for a small laptop. I have my iPad Pro in mine and then in the main compartment you'll see this area right here is where the exterior bottle pocket that is where that compartment is. So if you have a bottle in there, it does take up some of the room, but not a whole lot. So in here, I have my full size wallet from Halogen. I have a rose gold tech pocket for all my charges, my AirPod, my cords, etc. 
I have a Jujube Quick, which is what I use for all my diapering needs. There's disposable diapers, wipes, and um, butt paste in here. All my daughter's teething accessories. And then on the inside, there are two mesh pockets. In one mesh pocket, I do have the Petunia Pickle Bottom um, wipes clutch in here. I don't have wipes, but I did put um, some entertainment needs for my five-year-old. So when we are out and he just needs to keep busy, some of his favorite toys. All right, so now let's look at this front zippered compartment. This is a double zippered, insulated, and lined area that you can use for so many purposes. You can use it as a wet bag, you can use it as a pumping bag, you can use it as a lunch bag or a snack bag. So in here currently, I do have a Gobi snack container. This is empty, we were just out for a full day, but this holds all of my seven month old and my five year old's dried fruit, cereal snacks, teething crackers, etc. And then I also have a stasher's case that has snacks for my five year old and myself. As you can see in the bag itself, it is very spacious. It is a huge area to store so many items. You can also put some ice packs in there if you do need to keep some of your items cool. This is the very bottom insulated and lined bottom compartment. And this compartment works really well with the Petunia Pickle Bottom Intermix system. So in here I have three of the pieces that come with the Intermix system. I have the two small and the medium. What I don't have in here is the insulated intermix part. So let's go over and look at everything that I have packed. I will tell I will tell you that the size of these bags they look deceiving because they look small but you can fit so much in there. So first off, I have a little travel brush in here. I have two hair ties, some bobby pins, and a bow for myself and my daughter. And then in this small intermix system in here, I have an extra um, set of clothes for my daughter. So I have an extra, an extra bib, a little dress slash onesie outfit for her, a sun hat and then a small wet bag in case she has soiled clothing that I need to store without getting everything else dirty as well all right so in the medium piece in here these are our medical slash on our on the go uh, first aid kit so in here I have at the very top are items that I reach for most frequently, so I have the Sunbum Mineral Face Stick, insect repellent wipes for the kids, some essential oil solves that I reach for frequently for migraines, allergies, muscle tension, etc. I have teething pills for my seven month old, a couple of cloth face masks. This is a Jujube small set piece, and in here I have some cough drops, um, I have some elderberry some doTERRA on guard, and then doTERRA breathe. And then boogie wipes for my five-year-old. And then another Jujube small set piece. And in here, these are, um, this is kind of our first aid pouch. So in here, I have more insect repellent wipes, some gauze pads, some band-aids, um, a little sewing kit. I have some lotion, nail clippers, over-the-counter medications, some medical tape, etc. You get the idea. All right, and in this last small intermix pouch or bag or piece, this is my mommy essentials bag. So in here I have a essential oils lotion stick, some mommy hygiene and essential items, and then in here, this Jujube small set piece, I have kind of a travel makeup kit. So I have some travel makeup remover, some travel size powder and um, lip balm makeup. 
I have mascara. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, what makes this bag so versatile is that if you are a cloth diapering family, then this bottom compartment is going to be ideal for you. So in here, I can fit three Grovia diapers, a Charlie banana, and then a small wet pouch, which has um, 10 cloth wipes. And that fits in there so well. Now, if you are going to be cloth diapering and you're not using this top compartment for snacks, then you can use your wet bag, put your soil diapers in there, and then pop that in that area right there. All right guys, and that is it for today for the overview and packing video of the Petunia Pickle Bottom Pivot Pack. If you have any recommendations or if you have some other packing styles that you would like to see with this bag, please feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.